Hey everybody, this is Way to Fail, back with more Game Dev Tycoon, and for some reason my people don't want to sit and work all together to let them actually get their tiredness in order, so we're just going to go ahead and do our own thing and make another game because I want a tech specialist sooner rather than later. So I did unlock Mystery, and I did go ahead and research another topic, which was martial arts. But let's see, I think what we're going to do here instead is to try and do... Let's actually do a, instead of creating a new game, let's create a sequel. And I want to do something I haven't done at least in a little while, so we're going to go all the way back into our library, and we're going to do Kitten Prison, the game where you put cats in prison, and we're going to do this for the PC, and this is going to be a large game, because why not? We haven't done a prison simulation in a while. So PC still has some decent market share, this is mainly for the research points. So we're going to call this Kitten Supermax Prison. Can't do that. So we'll call this Kitten Supermax, where the kittens are bad, and we can put exploding red barrels in there as well. Maybe. No, I'll probably wait to put that in a game that's going to be more convenient than a prison simulation. So that's probably a terrible idea. Let's see what we can do to get started here, because we have our product placement in there somewhere. So as a simulation game, you do want a good engine story. doesn't matter so much, so we're not going to play that up. We're going to put a little bit in there. What we really want is... I don't need cloud saving. Mod support's good. I want to make this actually a single player. Whoa, can we fit the story in there? We can fit one or the other, but not both. So we'll have all these things in there as well, except for probably steering wheel, because that makes no sense. We do have character progression, which is nice. And I like that loadout of people pretty well. So let's start with our Kitten Supermax, where we're going to boost ourselves once. And we're going to go ahead and do a small marketing campaign on this, just to get some hype rolling. I missed E3 actually sitting there, and now we have our other team actually getting a little tired. So if I'd waited maybe just a little bit longer, I could have gotten it started, but we'll fix that some other time. Because I'd read that you can't do AAA games or create, like, super, super giant games until you get a perfect 10 on the large game, and I don't know if that's ever going to happen for me. So let's see here. We'll up the dialogues a little bit, because we want, we want this to have some good stuff with that. And we'll, I want the AI to be top-notch here, so level design doesn't matter as much. The artificial intelligence, though, is key. And once again, I like sort of my workload here, so I'm going to stick with that for now. So there we go. Kitten prison, prison for kittens. Can we get 100 research points to open up a hardware lab? That's the other question. And I think we should be able to. That's the other question is, is our team going to get too tired? These two are slacking and drinking coffee. So it's entirely possible that we could be in trouble. So that's here. The last thing for the simulation is that the world design, it's a prison. It doesn't need that much world design. The sound doesn't really matter too much either. Virtual economy, no. It's like, oh, look, here's your cigarettes. So maybe not that. And instead of Audrey Price being on that, let's put Lorraine on the world design. So that way we're a little more fair and balanced. We'll send these guys on vacation as soon as I can. PlayStation's going to be off the market. Oh, we don't want to train you. We want to market this game. And let's do a large Kitten Prison campaign. And this could fall in our faces. It's entirely possible, but my goal here is going to be to try and slingshot my way to making hardware. And we need a tech specialist to do that, and we have the people in place to do that. So let's go ahead and train you. Tech specialist for 100 rating points and 5 things. This gets our debugging a little slower, but that's not a huge deal. And Apple comes in with the iPhone, blah blah blah. Your iPhone's stronger than my Wii, that's true. Let's go ahead and send our debug team on vacation. Because we're not in a huge rush to release all of this. We just want to synchronize our people a little closer. I earned 23 million from the PlayStation, so that's nice. We'll see how much we can earn from the PC on this. Oh, one bug in the game. At the very end, you piece of crap. I, yep, I send you on vacation, you come back, you put a bug in the game. 
yeah, it's harder to avoid just that one bug. But we do have better graphics, better all that. But I do have an itching feeling that we are going to actually need... Let's see what training you can do. You can probably do the boost training as well, because you're almost there, but not quite yet. Let's see here. How are our reviews looking? Because that's going to dictate kind of what we want to do here. So nine. There we go. We're still we're not we're not due for a new engine yet, then. So Kitten Super Max is apparently a masterpiece of all time. That's cool. Played it for days. Nothing like sending cats to prison. So while we do this, and we do have some specializations that are available for people, but if you're going to be our design specialist, we've got to focus on training you every time just a little bit, although we are going to need to save some of our precious, precious stuff for later on, if that makes any sense, and I don't think it did. For uh, John Stewart, he did... Did he actually... Okay, so he is a tech specialist now, and what that means is that he should be able to research something for me pretty soon. I'm not sure why we don't exactly... Maybe the option's going to come up once he's sat here for a little bit, but there should be an option for him to become a... for us to start one of a new department here, because we have a tech specialist. So we get a million sales off of a very good week. And I enjoyed uh, <laughs> Kitten Max, Super Max. Clearly the developers know what they're doing. It's full of technical excellence. That's nice of you to say. It's not great for the kittens. Remember the kittens. Okay, so. New game time. We're just going to try and do this and see if we can get some more points together for things. So what we just did a simulation. We just did a prison simulation. What we haven't done in a while, I guess... Let's, let's go by genre, actually. We have not done a uh, adventure game in a while. And, you know, I'm starting to think that we could go to the Wild West and do some kind of adventure game and see how that goes. I mean, it worked really well for Rockstar Games, didn't it? I mean, just an open-world adventure where you get to go into the West and see how everything is screwed up. <sighs> we'll just call this Red Gold for the Gold Rush slash Blood Red time here. So it's kind of like Red, Red, Red Dead Redemption, I don't know. We're going to put Exploding Red Barrels in as product placement. It's probably going to make people angry that we did, because it's an adventure game. But... Okay, engine's, engine's important, but not as important. We actually going to make this kind of a big open game. And do I want multiplayer in it? Wow, actually, okay, so I have to take out some of these features here. We'll keep in, we'll keep in those three. So multiplayer's good. Don't really need steering wheel support, but it fucking floats people's boat, whatever. Um, let's see here. So for our storyboard and questing place, we want Drosman on that, and we'll save me for later on that gameplay. Let's go ahead and put Lorraine on that, because that's kind of a split tech design issue, as I say, I'm sure, every time. So let's get all this punched in. And the iPhone's released. If we want to release $1 games on it, we can, I guess. So, boost that, I guess. Blah, blah, blah. Does it do anything different? I don't know. I guess I could save and do comparisons or something. Alright, so... We're doing an adventure game, so we're, we're going to do kind of with the Fallout style of just bigger worlds, bigger everything. We want some AI, but we don't need too much AI. I guess we'll keep a companion. There's like, you have a dog, too. Every one of our games has a dog. We want voices, though. We want, we want really good snappy dialogue. You know what I'm saying? So who is good with dialogues? We have Drosman who's doing something. Audrey's good. I'm probably better, though. So we'll put Audrey on the level design. And we'll save Sawyer for a little later. We'll put probably... We'll put Bobby on there right now. Go, Bobby! Go, Ricky Bobby! I 
just that was the worst possible thing I could have said there. And now that I'm at 156 million, let's let's do our large campaign where our large campaign is due. I guess you could say we have a bunch of points. I'm gonna do a large booth to hype this up even more, and this game will actually still be in development with E3 going. But we don't have tons of hype for this. Maybe Wild West Adventure is not the combo I thought it was. Let's see, so what we got here, pretty much what we want is a fantastic world, we want a pretty game, the sound's kind of secondary, but still present. So you don't need a soundtrack, and we only need basic sound. Let's put a virtual economy in there, because it is the west, it is the gold trade, and whatnot. So we'll put you on that. I didn't do as well splitting my uh, duties up this time, did I? Because I need to save some of my design specialists for stuff. So sound is going to go to, actually, sound's going to go to Mr. Stewart. So there we go. Audrey, sorry I'm working you a little more, but you say you work faster, so work faster. And let's do one more large campaign. I may have screwed up this game, but we'll see. Because is it going to make us money? Very likely. And we're getting a ton of research as well. So a little bit of hype train. Red gold. It's like red steel but without the Waggle Fest. Actually, Red Steel 2 was a very solid title. I just can't play first-person games because they give me terrible vertigo have ever since uh, <sighs> Wolfenstein 3D and Doom, but that is a million visitors to see our game. We are super hyped. We were the number one booth this year. We're number one, and our hype's actually going up instead of down. That's awesome. It's like we're doing something new that people actually want to see. They really like us, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. So, release it while the hype's high, and I'm actually going to go ahead and take a quick pause break, so just a moment. Alright, and I'm back after some adventures in uh, plumbing, which I did not succeed at, so that sucks, but new topic, new combo. Not considered a good combo, maybe not considered a bad combo, but as a Wild Wild West adventure, let's see what the people think. As we get some other people here, immersive so bless, storytelling and so celebrity voice acting. And also, you're almost a uh, design specialist capable. You may be able to get it on this training run. Here's our, here's our, oh, 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 uh oh. Meh! Super hyped garbage. Could have been more? D d d d three, not bad, not good. So here is our, uh, Follow up to Kitten Supermax, which is actually still on the market. So this is a super hype game that people are really excited about. And we have two games selling at the same time, which you didn't used to be able to do. But now I guess they fixed it to where you can. <clears throat> we may be due for a new engine after all, but it did break the... Uh, it did break the top setting. So let's see here. There's a few little, there's a few aspects I can research here. What are some engine things we can research? Story, quest, not a lot here. Level design, no loading screens, dynamic environment, gameplay, cooperative gameplay, realistic weather. What are all those things that we'd like to have? Let's put moral choices, because I think it's going to be time to upgrade our engine here in just a little bit. Oh, they didn't enjoy them as much in Red Gold, so that's probably where my reviews got shot as well. But I tried to put them in there. I did, like you said. So Kitten Supermax sold a lot. Red Gold is going to lose us money. Yes, it's going to lose us quite a bit of money. Those damn barrels. But we do have... Oh my god, you actually did not make it to... You didn't make it to the design specialist level, so we're going to do this one more time. Might as well send you all on vacation, since we're all still going to be desynced with that. And as soon as this goes, we can upgrade you. Wish I could zoom in on that keyboard and see what he's typing, because it just looks like he's clickety-clacking playing Tetris. So I want to show you all at least something here. If they're not giving me the hardware stuff, I guess it's because I need to have a design specialist first. 
So let's see here. We're not going to do that. I want to be putting some of the stuff towards a uh, new thing, but we do have a design specialist now. Okay, it still did manage to sell. We've released crap, and it still managed to sell quite a bit. So maybe people didn't like it because of the product placement. I don't know. Let's do let's do a quick contract work here. See your debug program, set up computers. Let's do let's do Hollywood movies. Y'all should be able to knock this out in a hurry. I say should. Are we gonna fail it? I think we're gonna fail it. Wow. We lost seventy five thousand dollars. So there we go, we get an R&D lab. So here's the new part of the game, our R&D lab is ready. To visit, drag the screen to the left, alternatively you can click the little R&D lab information to the right. And we have internet opportunities, hardware, and tri Okay, so we do have AAA game as a research. So that's pretty neat. Okay, so I can set my budget to whatever. What project do we want? Triple A games. We can make good games work, so apparently you don't need a 10, you just need like a 9.75 or something. Games that are so messed in scope and such high quality, they'll create an entire new label to bar, term for finance sector, triple A rated, bar movie industry, true blockbusters. We could do that. That's 2,000. Internet opportunities. That'll open up some other things, but I'm going to start with hardware. Because I want to do hardware first, and then we'll move on to triple A games, perhaps. It's empty, but we have a number of skilled people working on it. So what you do in the R&D lab is you can set the budget however you want. And there's all this stuff. I'll just explain it real quick. Project is now started. Research will work on it. So what we got to do here is balance our books and make sure that we don't spend too much. I can probably afford to do $3 million per month, perhaps. Maybe not that much. We'll do $2 million per month. Because that's all going to be going on in there. And meanwhile, I think it's time that we try to redeem ourselves with a sequel to something that's a little better. So, I want to do Hell Beast sequel for the 360. That's right. And I could make this a AAA game, but if I were to do that, that's actually a game that's so massive that the only way the, that everybody has to be well rested beforehand. So, this is going to be Hell Beasts. Two. Let's do no. Let's go it the other way. Let's do Hell Beast Zero, or Hell Beast Prime. Even yeah, let's do Hell Beast Prime because then that'll set us up for negative Prime in the future. And we're probably going to be due for an engine after this. So we made eight million in sales. Let's remember here though that even though it says a profit there, we did lose a lot of money in per month stuff. So we actually are in the in the red on that game, so we got to knock something out well this time. And unfortunately, my team's already getting tired. So this is going to be pretty fun. Let me pause real quick. All right, so this is a dungeon action game, so we want to have good gameplay. Story doesn't matter as much. We're going the Blizzard route here of who gives a bleep about story, because they just put the most hackneyed crap in there lately, and people make it work, so... There we go. You want good engine, good gameplay. Save to cloud isn't really necessary to me. So, I guess the other question is, is that who do we want to have on all the stuff? We want Stuart on our tech, because that's important. Lorraine's pretty good on gameplay. I'm going to put Audrey on it, though. Because we're not going to be... We're, we're going to want Lorraine for some other stuff, since she's pretty balanced. And I do need to focus on training her more. So here's the rest of our staff getting starting to get tired. You can tell how I clicked their uh, vacation status. And hardware's actually going up pretty well right now. So if we can just release some good games here. We only need to train one specialist to start running a lab. You train more additional specialists to increase the overall running cost of your lab. So if I get other tech specialists in there, and there's the iPad or the iTampon or whatever. Yeah. So dialogues, who gives a crap? Draws me, you can go on that. And I can actually start making other kinds of specialists too with my research points, but I'm going to need to really focus on uh, 
first and foremost, what I need to do is focus on getting all of this stuff together. We want good AI, we want good level design. So we're going to put you on level design, you on dialogue. And who's going to be our other tech guy here? Estrada is pretty good. Price I've already used. Let's put Sawyer on here. We haven't used him as much. And he's actually falling behind a little bit from our other people. So we're getting big chunks of stuff up there now. Let's boost. Let's market. Do a large campaign. Notice how much money we're just throwing at things now. Our operating costs with the R&D lab has gone up. And I'm sorry about the slight cutoff. Let me see if I can fix that, actually. Okay, quick pause and unpause there. Just because we're on stage three, that bottom part of the screen with budget and two per month, I just want to make sure that I'm not cutting you off from what you want to see because I have to record this in windowed mode or it won't work. So let's see here. Our action game, the world design matters, but not a ton. We want... This is going to be one of the last games we make on this engine, so we want to have stupidly good graphics. And virtual economy will pretty much be out and everything else will work. So I'll be on graphics. Lorraine on sound. Maybe, maybe not. It's here. Audrey Price on world design. That's not terrible. I guess let's put Bobby on sound there. We'll have good management for this as our team is starting to keel over just a little bit. We're almost at being able to make new hardware, and it's going to be cost us quite a bit of research points, I think, to start that up. But our hype is fantastic here. So let's go ahead and send, send you all on vacation, vacation. Ah, tr clear trend towards simulation games. So we missed that wave. Send on vacation and send on vacation. So this debugging is going to take a while, but we should be able to hit E3 in time to get this hype rating even higher. I don't think I can market it too much more than I have. So yeah, I don't mind holding this over. We're actually already almost done with hardware, which is good. So Hellbeast's Prime. How's it going to be, man? How's it going to be? Over a million again. Do we have the number one booth? I think we do. Number one booth. So we are. We have over 500,000 fans. And let's go ahead and finish and release this, even though it's not super popular. It'll do. So new records all around. Good management for stuff that we've done before. So let's see here. Let's release the game, and we're, we are just about... Dynamic World Research is unlocked. We can create our own hardware lab and have the appropriate technology specialists. We can create our own gaming console. It won't be cheap, but it'll probably take a few years, and maybe we could trump the likes of the Xbox and PlayStation. And we can go ahead and open our, <laughs> excuse me, our lab now. Okay, so let's go to the hardware lab. After we see our reviews and see if we need to get a new engine here, Okay, so we're still getting nines. That's good. As long as we can keep getting nines, I think we'll be okay. No, seven. Okay, so Game Hero. Apparently I'm not paying them off enough for this, but still Hellbeast got good reviews. And we need to start another project for you all. Um, Internet Opportunities unlock some interesting things, but I think I want to unlock AAA games first. Yeah, we'll do that. And that's just going to be a kind of down-the-road thing, so we're actually going to lower our budget to about a million. A million per month. And can we develop a console? If you're confident you have enough capital. So let's see here. We don't want to... So this is the console development. I think we're going to come back to this later, because I need to make a new engine for all this to work on first. So we'll, we'll, get, we'll get back to that. Okay. So Hellbeast is doing pretty well. We have pretty good capital. What can we add to our engine, though? So we need graphics for... Stereo sound... I think there's maybe one or two other things we can add to this engine, but we'll just go ahead and do it like this. Moral choices. Online play. 
skill trees, and not too much else. So this is going to be our, uh, maybe one of our last engines that we're going to do. So we're just going to call this Advanced Cat, because it's the cat that's advanced. So there we go. We have we have good capital coming in. We have plenty of money pouring in. We're researching AAA games over something that's going to take a little bit of time. But we have we have good cash in the bank. But I think I'm going to try my goals here for the remainder of this is I do want to make a AAA game at some point. And I do want to create a new console. Can I do all that before year 30? Maybe. But I think it's good that we went ahead and did a new engine, Advanced Cat, now available in stores near you. So we're going to need some uh, other stuff here, but actually, let me look at the staff list one more time, because I'd love to have two specialists for each thing. So let's see, we have, we have one tech specialist, we're pretty close to some other design specialist as well. We want at least one other tech specialist, and it's not going to be, it's not going to be me, that's for sure. But if I do look at my training real quick, you see these other specializations, you do want those. Definitely want those. So what I'm going to do here is to try and up myself a bit. I'm going to try and up some of our other people that maybe we've neglected their training just a little bit. So it's here. You're kind of balanced. I'm going to actually throw you in some programming because that'll have you do both. Training your staff is always important. Game design. We don't, want to, we don't really want to research right now. We're just focusing on training. I want you to do programming. So we're all going to take a quick training break, I guess. So it's here. Now that you're up above 700, let's get you some design experience just to round you all out. And the same for you. Look at that. We actually have enough to train everybody on our team. How about those apples? And as soon as we get through here, we're going to miss the wave. But we did make some pretty good bank on this. 20 set to the tune of 27 million. So we should be able to run our office just fine. So I guess that's going to be about it for now. I'll let these guys get their stuff together here. And next time on Game Dev Tycoon, we're going to focus on trying to get enough capital to actually make a console. Can we do it? We'll find out. So I hope you all enjoyed. This is Way to Fail with Game Dev Tycoon. Until next time.